for joining us for Toddler Tuesdays at Home. Remember to tune in every Tuesday at 10 a.m. And if you want more information, you can just go to mallofamerica.com backslash Toddler Tuesdays. My name is Katie and I work at Circus Juventus, which is a circus school right here in St. Paul. And this morning we are going to do some circus exercises, play some circus games, and learn how you might be a circus performer someday. Awesome! So the first thing we have to do, every circus performer has to do, is we have to warm up our bodies. Let's go! All right, are you ready to warm up your bodies? Me too! Awesome, so the first thing we have to do is start moving around to get our blood pumping. We're going to go back and forth in our space, so make sure you have a space that's big enough to move in where you're not gonna knock anything over or kick over the TV or step on the dog, all right? So everybody find your big open space. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to bunny hop. So come over to the corner of your space and we're just gonna hop on two feet. Hop, 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 make sure you're on two feet. to stretching our bodies. 
Okay, so it's super important for circus performers to make sure they stretch their muscles so that they don't get hurt while they're doing all those amazing things, flying on trapezes and doing somersaults and bouncing on trampolines. So we're gonna stretch our muscles right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stretch up high. Reach high up on your toes like there's something you wanna grab off the ceiling. What's something that's up there that you want? I am trying to grab a Cadbury cream egg because it's my favorite candy. And I'm reaching as high as I can. What are you trying to grab? Oh, that is good. That is worth stretching for. So stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. And then bring your arms down. Awesome. And so now we're going to make arm circles. So you're going to take both your arms and make big circles. Like you're swimming, baby. Good. And we're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So we went forwards. Now we have to go backwards. Count with me. We're going to do five circles backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Good job, circus performers. Now we're going to stretch out our hips. These are your hips right here. Excellent. So you're going to take your hands, put them right here in your hips, right where your belt is or your waistband of your pants. And we're going to go side to side, like a clock maybe if you have a grandfather clock that has a pendulum that swings. We can even make a clock noise. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Good. Tick, tock, tick. Now we're going to make a circle with our hips. We're going to go all the way to the front, around to the side, and back. Here's what it looks like from the side. A big circle. Wow, boy, you've got those hips moving. Good job. You know, what I like to think is that I'm in the middle of a big jar of peanut butter, or almond butter, or sunflower butter, whatever your preference. And I'm trying to scrape the very last bits off using my hips. You gotta get that last bit of sunflower butter off. Use your hips, good. All right, and circle the other way. If you haven't switched, make sure you go both directions. All right, good job. Get those hips feeling loose. Okay, now we're gonna sit down on the floor. Here we go. So, once you sit down, I want you to put your legs out in front of you. I'll go sideways so you can see. Straight. See how my legs are straight? My knees are trying, back of my knees are touching the ground. And I'm sitting up tall, so I don't want to be slumping. I'm sitting up nice and tall, and I'm going to reach toward my toes. I bet you can all go much further than I can. I have to just, I can barely reach my toes. If you can't reach your toes, you can just put your hands right here on your shins or your knees or your ankles. Whatever works for you, however far you can reach. Good job. And then I want you to try to kiss your knees three times. I have to blow my knees a kiss because I can't touch them. But if you can get all the way down and kiss your knees, that's amazing. So we're going to do it three times. Are you ready? Mwah! One, Mwah! two, Mwah! three. Gotta give those knees a little love, right? Absolutely. Okay, so now, I want you to put your feet together, soles of your feet together, and then put your hands right here and your ankles or your toes, and we're gonna flap those knees. See how my knees are going up and down? Yeah, so it's like a butterfly that's flying. Gosh, where are we flying today? Hmm, that's a really good question. Where do you want to fly? Oh, really? That's amazing. I think I'm going to fly to the ice cream store because it's warm out today and I'm going to get ice cream. Where else are you flying? Oh, I heard the Mall of America. Yes, excellent. You can get ice cream there. You can get everything there. It's the best. Good, so keep flapping your wings, sitting up nice and tall. Good job, butterflies. Okay, hop back up. Okay.
Okay, I'm feeling really stretched out. I hope you are too. Now we're gonna learn how to do some juggling. Okay, are you ready to juggle? Excellent, me too. All right, so what you're gonna need for the juggling is, I have two lovely scarves here, but if you don't have a scarf like this, you can use a Kleenex, a tissue, you could even grab a paper towel or some toilet paper if you wanna just make sure it's clean. Yeah, excellent. So we're gonna start, we've got our two scarves. I'm gonna put one scarf down. I'm just gonna have one scarf in my hand and I'm gonna throw it up and catch it with the same hand, okay? Throw it up and catch it. You have to throw it up high and catch it. If I throw it too low, it's hard to catch. I'm gonna throw it up, catch it with the same hand. Good job. We're gonna do that five times. You ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. So now you can put your scarf in your other hand or grab your other scarf if you want. This one's nice and green. I kind of like it. It's bright. So you switched hands. So again, we're going to throw it up and catch it with the same hand. Ready? We're going to go five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Oh my gosh. You are all going to be such amazing jugglers. All right. So now we're going to keep one scarf. This time we're going to throw it from one hand and catch it with the other hand. Do you see how I did that? Start it in one hand. I throw it over and I catch it. Good job. So throw it up and catch it. Now we still want to throw it high and catch it. If I just go like this, whoop, I can't catch it. If I throw it to the side like this, it's hard to catch. So I still want to throw it up and catch it with the other hand. Kind of like I'm making an X in front of my body. Throw it up and catch it. Throw it up and catch it. Good job. Catch it. Throw it up and catch it. Awesome. Do three more. One. Two and three. Excellent job, jugglers. So now you can have both your scarves or your tissues or your paper towels. You're gonna put one in each hand. Maybe wave them around a little. Ooh, very nice, exciting. Yes. So now we're gonna try to throw them both up at the same time and you're gonna catch it in the same hand that you threw it from. See, so I'm not not switching they're going up and I'm catching same hand that I threw it up catch a little trickier I'm gonna throw it high then I give more time to catch it right throw it high and catch it throw it high catch it good job let's do three more you ready one two and three awesome so good okay this last one something you have to work on for a little while and I might not do it right either. So what we're going to do now is one scarf in each hand. I'm going to try to throw them like an X in front of my body and catch it with the other hand. I might not. I might have to try this a few times before I get it right. That's what juggling is all about. You fail sometimes and then you try again. Here we go. Whoa! Good job! You try that. Switch and catch. So I'm mixing all you making it in front of my body and catch. Good job. Try a few more times. Oh, I see some of you are doing an amazing job and you're all working so hard. Good job. One more. Awesome. Very, very good. So now pick whichever scarf you want. Put the other one on the ground. Now we're going to try to catch our scarf or our tissue on a different part of our body. So I want you to throw your scarf up and try to catch it. Hmm, where should I try to catch it? On my head. I try to catch it on my head. I don't know if this will work. So, I did it. Oh, no, it's too stuck to my hair. All right, try it again, catch it on your head. Throw it up. Oh, I got it. If you give it a try, you have to throw it really high and then get underneath it. Whoa. 
got it. Awesome. Good job, everybody. Now you can try other parts of your body to catch it on. What are you going to catch yours on? Oh, I heard a foot. Let's try that one. Can we throw it up and catch it on our foot? Whoa. That one's a little tough. Don't fall over. Try it again. Catch it on your foot. Oh, no, I missed. Oh. It's all right. Try it again. Catch it on my foot. Good job. What other body part? What am I hearing? Oh, knee. See if you can catch it on your knee. Let's see. Catch it on my knee. Oh, I caught it and it slid off my pants. Try again. Knee. I got it. Good job. So you can do this with anything. You can catch it on your arm. You could catch it on your back. What's that look like? Did I catch it? Did I get it? Is it on there? All right. Good job. So we're going to go three more times and you throw it up and catch it on whatever body part you want. Here we go. Whoop, I dropped it. One. Oh, good job. And two. Ooh. And three. Good job. Way to go with your scarves. Excellent. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to use some balls. Now, if you have juggling balls or little balls about this big at your house, you can use those. If you don't have balls around that are soft and squishy, you could uh, use balled up socks. Make a sock roll and you can use your socks, okay? So you might have two balls. Right now, we're just gonna use one though. So take one ball, put it on the ground. So this ball is very special. Actually, we're gonna pretend this ball is a frog. All right, this is a frog. What's your frog's name? They'll tell you if you put your ear up to it. Oh, my frog's name is Reginald. He just told me. Find out what your frog's name is. Now we have to be very careful with our frog. Our frog, Reginald loves to fly, but he does not like to fall. So we're gonna put Reginald, or whatever your frog's name is, in both hands, and you're gonna toss it up and catch it. So he just likes to fly a little bit, right? Toss it up, catch it. Good job, both hands. Toss it, catch it. You see, I'm not throwing Reginald so high he hits the ceiling because that would scare him to death. I'm just tossing him right about to the top of my head. So let's toss Reginald maybe five more times. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Oh, are you having a good time, Reginald? Yes. He says he loves it. All right. So now you're going to put your froggy in one hand. It's getting a little more challenging now. Put your frog in one hand, and we're going to do the same thing, but just with one hand. So you're going to pick him up, catch him. Throw it, catch him. Again, I'm not throwing Reginald too high because he doesn't like to be that high in here. Good job. And I'm catching the same hand. One. Two, three, four, and five. Good job. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. Switch hands. You were probably doing your first tosses in the hand that's better at this. Your other hand might need a little more work. Mine certainly does, but we're still going to try it. So put your frog in your other hand, toss him up, catch him. Good job. Two, three, Four and five. Good job. Okay, so now you can pick up your second ball. And you have one in each hand. So just like we did with the scarves, we're just going to throw them up at the same time and catch them in the hand we threw them from. Like this. This one's a little tricky. I might drop my frog. Sorry, frogs. Oh, what's your other frog's name? Did we ask? This frog's name. Lucinda, Reginald, Lucinda, excellent. So I'm gonna throw Reginald and Lucinda up and I'm gonna try to catch them. Good job. If you drop them, you can just say you're sorry. They're okay. Okay, we'll do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, excellent. All right, I'm gonna put Reginald back down 
give Lucinda a little turn here. She really likes to fly. So I'm gonna try to make Lucy, or, uh, Lucinda hop from one hand to the other. Like a little rainbow, right? Toss it and see I'm not throwing her too high because then it'll be very hard to catch her. Catch her in the other hand. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Lucinda. She said it's okay. All right. Catch. 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 Good job. Three more. One, two, and three. Good job, jugglers. Okay, the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to use our imaginations to create a story. Because in circus, a lot of times there's a story that goes through the whole show and we need to learn how to make those stories. So what you're going to need is I have a yoga mat here. If you have a yoga mat or if you have a blanket or a towel or just anything you can sit on uh, that you can pick up and move around, you can use that. And this is no ordinary yoga mat though. I know it looks like one, but what this really is, is a magic carpet. And this magic carpet is gonna take us anywhere we want to go. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. I've been in my house for a very long time and I need to go somewhere. All right, so grab the front of your magic carpet and pull it up because we have to steer. I need to use my hands to steer. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Think really hard about flying on your magic carpet. And see how it gets up into the sky. I'm working really hard. Whoa! And I am up in the sky flying on my magic carpet. Look down. What do you see? What do you see down below you? Whoa! I see clouds down there. I see, oh, oh there's a bird. I saw a bird. Ooh, I almost hit him. What do you see? An airplane. I saw that too. It's right over there. Oh, and look way down. Oh, the clouds are parting. Now I can see trees. It's like a forest. I'm flying over a forest. Do you see the trees down there? Whoa, what do you see? You might see something else completely. Oh, oh, over here there's mountains. Do you see the mountains when you look down on your carpet? Whoa, oh, careful. I almost hit a bird again. Yes, I see mountains. I see trees. What do you see? A lake? Oh, yes, I see that lake right down there. Absolutely. Oh, the ocean? I see the ocean, right? We're flying over the ocean. Oh, that makes me a little nervous. What's in the ocean? A whale? I see that whale. He's spouting. Look right there. Oh, amazing. Oh, I don't know about you. I'm getting a little tired of flying. We need to land somewhere. Where are we going? Hmm, look around, really look. Look around below your magic carpet. What do you see to land on? Maybe it's a parking lot. Maybe it's an opening in the forest or an island in the middle of the ocean. Oh, that's where I'm going. Yep, right down there. I see an island in the middle of the ocean. Okay, you ready to land? Be really careful, you gotta steer this magic carpet. Here we go. In for a landing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look around. What do you see? I'm on an island, so I see a palm tree and it has coconuts up there. I see, oh my gosh, I see rocks, big rocks in the ocean smashing up against the rocks. And there's a cave over there, big cave. Wow, what do you see? Oh, that's exciting. You see an animal? Oh, you know what? I think I hear something making noise over in that cave over there. Oh my, okay, you know what? The noise from that cave is getting really loud, so I think I'm ready to take off again. You wanna take off with me? Here we go. Oh. Whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we are, up in the sky again. I don't know what wild animal was in that cave, but I didn't want to meet it. Well, this has been awesome, and I am going to go home. It's time for lunch. I'm really hungry. Yeah, 
Are you ready to go home? Okay. So we're going to fly back home. Oh, I see my house. It's right there. Do you see your house? Can you see it? Uh, I bet you can. All right, we're going to land. This is a tricky landing. Are you ready? And you're going to land right in your living room. Here we go. circus performers. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. Uh, from everybody at Circus to Venice, we want to say that we hope we see you down there for one of our classes sometime soon. Uh, we want to thank our partner TCF Bank and don't forget to pick up your Toddler Tuesdays Fun Pack at the Toy Store, Level 1 South during mall hours. Remember to join us every Tuesday at 11 a.m. at the mall for viewing of Nickelodeon episodes. You can find out more about everything that's going on at mallofamerica.com backslash toddler Tuesdays. We'll see you next time.